Okay, so I only have 18 minutes to record, so I'm going to try to make this kind of quick. Uh, so, yeah, this is going to be the beginning of part two of the wheel bearings on the F-250. Um, now, here's something kind of crazy, is that I'm actually doing another wheel bearing video. And the reason I'm doing it, and it's on the same body style truck, is because this one's the 4x4. And this setup is the same for the Broncos. And uh, I, I know it's kind of, it's definitely unique. And I, I didn't even know how unique it was. And uh, it's definitely something that I figured I want to go over. So uh, since I only have 17 minutes today and I have to do a lot um, with video editing and all that, I probably may not get to doing that, starting that video today. That may end up having to be a later on down the road problem. Um, so yeah, anyways guys, that's not important. But what is important is that this is the beginning of the last part of the wheel bearing video. Uh, we're actually not doing bearings this time around. We're going to get to the, all the braking components and the calipers and all that stuff. Um, I'm probably not going to go through bleeding because, well, there, I know Chris Fix has a, has a couple really good videos about that. And if you want to go check that out, that's totally good. I don't really have that many on my channel. Um, so, yeah. Um, bleeding brace is pretty simple, though. I think that's the only thing that we don't go over. Um, and if you're not, and if you're unaware of why we ended up replacing the calipers and the lines, we ended up having a seized caliper was the problem. And I was going to check it, but all the bleeder screws were seized. And uh, in order to remove them, it would have taken a lot of effort. And so we just opted for the option of replacing the calipers that were rusted very badly. Um, so we replaced the calipers and the lines. And so, yeah. What have you guys learned this week? Uh, I learned, let's see, what did I learn this week? Oh. Well, this week I didn't really learn anything, but I actually signed up for Audible, and I'm not sponsored by Audible, um, so I'm not going to do a whole thing about it, but I actually signed up for it to give it a try, and I've actually been listening to some of the audiobooks while I'm working, and it's a wonderful way to listen to them, because with what I do, uh, I'm, like I said, I'm not sponsored, um, but, but with what I do, uh, you know, working eight hours a day and all that, I don't really have time to read books. And you know, explore things. So what I'm what I'm really listening to right now is the Witcher series, because I I've read the first book and I've played both of the games, but they have a new series coming out soon, and I'm interested for it. But I wanted to go ahead and catch up on the series on the book series, and I've never really found the time to pick up a book and sit down. I'm always running around, always working, always doing something. So yeah, audiobooks are a wonderful way for people like us to get out there and really you know. Or listen to whatever. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff on those mechanicing books, I'm sure. Um, and uh, yeah, so, so yeah. Anyway, that was something that I did this week, and I learned a lot about The Witcher that I didn't know. So I guess I didn't learn that, um, but I didn't learn anything car related, unfortunately. So, anyways, guys, uh, thank you very much for coming to my channel and clicking on this video, and I hope that you stay tuned until the end, and I will see you there. Bye bye. <laughs> and now you got in the boat the hold the
All right, so copper washer on bottom, copper washer on top, banjo bolt through the middle. I'm going to go ahead and thread that in. Hmm. Something about this isn't right. These could be the wrong, these could be the calipers for the wrong side. I'll let it the other side and it. Not right. Hmm. How else would it go? How did I just have it? I can't even remember how I just had it. Oh, like that. Yeah. Yeah, but see how tight that is. Yeah. Something about this thing isn't right. good news is, I didn't take the line off of the old caliber, so I can just look at how it's weighted. Oh. So, I'm going to Oh, so it does go upside down. See that? Yeah. Okay, cool. See, that's a good thing about double checking everything you want to make sure that this is right because if you get this in the wrong uh, orientation you won't be able to bleed it all kinds of other bad stuff will happen to you so but yeah that's this is how it goes you know it doesn't look right but that's what it shows so that's what I go with actually that looks more right than it did oh yeah that's more right than it was so now we're going to pop the hood, fill it up with brake fluid, and let it gravity bleed, and then we'll bleed everything. Okay, so basically what you do whenever you get to this point, pull the cap off your master cylinder, and wait until you see that. See how it's dripping? So whenever you're done with that, now you can tighten up your banjo bolt, which has crush washers. That's what those copper washers are, is crush washers. Um, if you ever take that line off to replace it, you need to try to see if you can buy some new crush washers. Crush, cr crush washers. That was very difficult to say. Uh, make sure you get some of those. that are nice and fresh and new. You should be. This is like the electric, so electric socket rail. That's right. Boys, I'm living this high life now. I don't have to dig through a socket to over 30 minutes. <laughs> Alright, and it's fine to let all this old gum out. I'm not too much worried about it. It's old and I want to replace it anyway. So. And uh, this has a torque spec. I don't fucking love it. So. I thought you said that you were going to torque it to 80. <laughs> not this banjo bolt. Oh. My bad. But uh, now I can actually... I, I didn't tighten the caliper bolt. The caliper. These are actually slide pins. So, on your slide pins... Uh, Make sure you do some wrong stuff. Uh, just make sure you put a little bit of grease. These came pre-greased. Not going to worry about it this time around. Next time, whenever I do brake pads, I will though. Make sure I grease them up. And where's that heck socket rail? In your pocket. Jesus Christ. Well, your dad handed them to me because you said to let me hold Why on to them. I don't know what I'm doing over here. The hell did you do that? Where did you come from? 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 Where Okay, so that's a lot of information within these two videos that I think will be extremely useful. 
Um, I made this video because a lot of people own these trucks and they're not entirely sure of how to do it and I don't want you to be scared to go out and get your hands dirty and get into something. Like I said, I do have the 4x4 version coming soon, so stay tuned for that if you're interested in more of this wheel bearing type stuff. And uh, we also got a couple cool videos. We're going to do some LED lights, which I meant to do a long time ago. I just haven't got around to it. And then we're actually going to do a motor mount um, pretty soon, too. So, And then we also have a video coming out about this. Uh, you can't even see. Oh, that back there. Uh, there's a video coming out soon about it, too. Um, so, yeah. Stay tuned, because we got a lot of cool stuff coming in the future. Uh, the 81 project is eventually going to start picking up. I've gotten this garage pretty far along. Still got a little bit of ways to go, though. So, yeah. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope you've learned something this week. If it was this, phenomenal. Um, and I actually forgot to say it at the beginning of the video. So, I'm going to have to go back and re-record that. But, yeah. So, I hope you learned something in from I hope you learned something awesome this week. And, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, God, don't forget to like and subscribe. I almost fell off my seat for that, so like and subscribe.